is Craig Reckless. Today we're gonna to be doing Bring Me Some Water from Melissa Etheridge. And I'm gonna show you a way I do this. Uh, it sounds great live, actually. This is the way I play it with one guitar player. If you're gonna play it with one guitar player, this is probably the way you wanna play it. Cause actually, I play it with a A minor. She's actually just playing with a, a A major. She's going, she's, she's got a 12 string going on too. So there's a big production. There's a lot going on. She's going. <laughs> Doing like the octave thing, you know. So, you know, adding a bunch of fills in there. So I'm just doing a, a little. I'm doing a little A minor because I, uh, I was sitting here going, how can I make this sound full with one guitar? So I'm going. I don't like the way the A sounds straight across here. So I like the way it sounds. So I'm I'm going I'm bouncing off the bass now I'm going so I'm going down up I'm up swinging up I'm I'm hitting all the high end chords so I'm hitting the first string second string third string yeah and I'm choking then I'm going and what I'm doing there is I'm going and I'm just really just keeping the chord for him. I'm going, so I'm just picking up my the chord actually. I'm using my second and third finger, and I'm hammering on the, uh, picking up on the fourth string, hammering back down on the second, picking up on the third string, hammering back down on the second. But I'm using the the chords. Uh, I'm just using the A minor chord to do that. See, I'm going. I'm just hammering down on, on the the fourth and the third. See. So I was gonna do this a bunch of times, and then like when you do it with your singer, she's gonna come in and sing. She's gonna sing. You're gonna do it probably like three more times. There's a cue when you know, and you stop. You go, and then you're gonna go to the D, the, the D seventh. Anybody doesn't know what these chords are? There's a link below. But the D seventh is the opposite of a D. See that? Here's a D seventh. So here we go. So here's what I do. I, So I'm gonna go. So what I'm doing there is I'm playing uh, the. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing the bass note, which is gonna be the fourth string. So we're gonna go fourth string, the first string, the second string. So then back to the fourth string. Then I'm putting my pinky down on the third uh, fret, first string. And I'm going, so I'm going uh, first, second string there too. See, I'm just bouncing off, I'm bouncing off the uh, bass note of the D, which is the four string. So we're going to go four string, one, two, four string, one, two. See that? So we're going to do that twice. So we do it with the D seventh, and then we do it with our uh, pinky down, making a D suspended four. Or D seventh for suspended four. What I do there is I go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go three, two, open. That's gonna be all on the first string. Then I'm gonna go second, third string. So that we're still playing the D seven. See that? So I'm coming out of that. Then I'm gonna go. Then back to the. Then back to the D seven. And the first time, first time in the in the first verse, it, it uh, we're gonna play the E and hold it. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then it goes to the chorus. So the second verse, and it, it's gonna go. It's gonna, it's gonna go. Okay, so then, uh, so there's really not a lot to this song. And then, the, uh, so the chorus is gonna be, uh, and I, I put distortion on this. Then, I, so it's gonna be A. So A G to D. So it's me. So one guitar player, 
like I said, there's big production. There's like a country guitars going on, all kinds of stuff going on. So for me, I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna play the D here, so now I can do some fill. So I'm gonna go A G D. So I'm gonna go. So that's gonna be the first fill I do. It's gonna be uh. Uh, what I'm doing is just folding my finger across the seventh fret on the uh, second and third strings going so Then I'm do folding uh, seven and then I'm folding my first finger across the fifth fret here on the first not the first uh, second and third strings Then I'm putting my finger down And I'm folding it down here too, so when I come down my uh my finger is going to go to the uh, fourth string, seventh fret. Just going to keep repeating that. Go. So. So I'm going to go seven, seven, five, five, then seven on the uh, fourth string, then seven, seven, five, five, then. Two. Back to. Now I'm going to bend it like that. So now I'm going to fold it. I'm playing the same string, second and third string. I'm bending the seven. If you have a hard time bending it with your one finger, use all three fingers to bend it. And back to the fives on the second and third uh, string. And then uh, the seven on the fourth string. And I just go back and forth with that. I go. So the first time we do the chorus, it's gonna go a bunch of times. It's gonna go. So right there, we would go to the E. After three times, we go to the E. Um, every other time it does the chorus, but. First time it does the chorus, it goes like eight times. Like, ch check it out. L listen to how many times it actually goes. It goes. like seven times and then the eighth time you're going to go then you're going to go to the E then back to the A minor the second verse we don't do the stop in the A minor and how she stops in the A minor because she, before she goes to the D7 and the... let's go back to the uh, the chorus chorus and this time like I said it's gonna be three times I think she does it twice, the chorus twice here. Now she's gonna go to a part where it goes, now she's gonna play the A like this. She's gonna bounce off the A, and she's gonna play, so she's bouncing off the A, which is the fifth string, and then she's gonna uh, up stroke so down up down up down up down up she's gonna go down off the fifth string and then up on the on the uh your first finger is gonna be folded across the uh third and fourth strings second fret so we're gonna go so no actually she's gonna start with the uh f sharp because I, I i was playing it like this at band practice i was playing actually bar chords which this is what I was playing, but I want to show you what the, the record does for real. The, so while she's, what, what the notes are is F sharp, F sharp minor, 
G to A. So I'm just gonna do this three times. This is the way I was doing it at practice, but this is the real version. So I might actually just mix it up and do it both ways live. Um, we're gonna go. So we're gonna go bass note. Like I said, we're folding here. So we're actually we're gonna start on the F sharp. I forgot. So this starts on the F sharp. So I'm using my uh, thumb to hold down the F sharp on the sixth string, which is the second fret. So we're gonna go. So honestly, I think listening to the album, I think she's just playing the A and, and the bass is doing all the work going. And there's like guitars in the background. You know, like I said, it's big production, but so one, for one guitar, you're gonna go. So, like I said, the way I've been playing at practice, it just it just rings out better. So, so like I said, I think she's just playing the A, and then the bass is doing all all the work there. It's big production, but. At, at a band live, this just sounds better. It sounds more like I'm, I'm well, bass notes are following the bass player. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going. that three times so like I said this is you guys do whatever you want to do you can do the you got a choice there so that's three times and then we're gonna go to the B so now we're gonna play it like that we're gonna go down 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 right into it see that so it's gonna go so it's gonna be like six one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three that's gonna be uh b to d to the e then back to the chorus which is like three times i think it plays so this plays the chorus three times which is a And like this. It's real quick and it ends like end right there like that. So end it however way you want to. I, I I think it would play a little bit longer at the end, but that's how you play that. It's so simple. Have a great day.